Thanks for staying with us here on STL TV Live. I'm back with Chantel Nixon Clark from the Pink Angels Foundation, and I'm also joined by Stephanie Lee, who is a board member and current mm -hmm. angel. Yeah. And so explain what that means. Explain what being right now an angel is. Well, Chantel came up with this uh, organization, and I was right there at the beginning, never in my wildest dream that I would think that I would become an angel. Um, and when I found the night, you know, we talked about self-exams and knowing what you need to do and be aware. And when I found the night, I became an angel and I'm a survivor. Mm -hmm. You know, nothing but God got, is getting me through this. Mm -hmm. It's a difficult, I mean, to hear those three words. I know when I met you, Chantel, you were going through chemo, and we talked about it, to hear those words, you have cancer, mm -hmm. what it actually does to you, and you feel so alone. And I think, you know, what you've done here, what's interesting we should point out for people at home is your cousins. Yes. And so there's the BRCA gene, as you've learned, yes. that runs through your family. Yes. And so you are both now going, you've been through this, and now you're going through this, but you're giving back. And, I mean, mm -hmm. does it help... Do you feel the difference of not feeling as if you're going through this entirely alone, knowing that you're a part of a foundation that's helping others? Absolutely. I have a huge family, and the support is outstanding. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm never alone. I uh, have people fighting over who's going with me on Friday for my chemo. <laughs> so that's a good thing, you know. Uh, I'm very blessed to have the family that I have. What do you think are some of the smaller things that are overlooked? Because, you know, we're talking in the first segment about how the Pink Angels Foundation provides, like, the gas cards to get to and from to help you get gas and some of the smaller expenses. What do you think is kind of overlooked now that you're actually going through chemotherapy? It, it's the support. You know, I sit in, in, the, in, in there doing my chemo, and you see women with nobody. Mm -hmm. You see them with nobody there where I might have two or three people there. And it's, you know, your heart goes out to those women they have, I don't know if they have support, but it seems like they don't have support mm -hmm. because they sit there by themselves. Mm -hmm. And do you feel that that, Chantel, is a big thing that you want, in addition to obviously raising the money, the financial side, but there's volunteer opportunities. I mean, do you want to sort of create a family as well with oh, the foundation? Oh, absolutely. Once a, once a, a lady becomes an angel, it's almost like a sorority. Um, we become a sisterhood, and no matter if I'm not available, Stephanie's available. Everybody kind of steps in and help one another with the moral support. And uh, we have to remember that we can't wait a, until it creeps around our own door to mm -hmm. support. One in eight women will be diagnosed with breast cancer. So that's a lot of women. And we want everybody to know that there is support out there. There are resources out there. However, what better way is it to, to have moral support, letting everybody know that they're not alone, you're not by yourself. I've been through it. You can get through it. Mm -hmm. So we just want to instill in their mind that they can make it. And not such. A, it's not. It, it, I mean, breast cancer is, has such a bad connotation. Mm -hmm. But however, you can make it through. Yeah, you can make it through. So for people watching this, if they go to your website mm -hmm. and they want, what will they find? What will they learn there? The programs and services that the foundation offers, or yes. how can people? get in touch with you and who should get in touch with you? Absolutely. If you're looking for volunteer opportunities or even sponsorship, our vision is based solely on community supporters. So without the community, without the, um, you know, contributions, we're nothing. Mm -hmm. So we just really uh, want to put it out there that if, if you want to donate, you can visit the website. If you want to volunteer, we would love mm -hmm. you to volunteer because sometimes we, we go to doctor's appointments with them, surgery, chemotherapy, radiation. We try to attend and be side by side with these ladies each step of the way. And if you're currently diagnosed, is it are you, at, at any stage can you contact you yes. as well? Yes. So it doesn't have to be you've already started chemo. It can be if you've just learned about it or even if you think you might be genetically predisposed. As long as you're fighting. The Pink Angels Foundation will be there with you. Okay. All right. Well, that's great. We've got the information for this big, big fundraiser.
for the Pink Angels Foundation. It's called Sing For My Life, taking place this Saturday at Lumen Event Space. It's a wonderful, wonderful fundraiser for the foundation. It helps them raise the money that they need to help women in the St. Louis area who have breast cancer, who don't have support, they don't have the financial means, and a lot of other things. So head to the website for more information, how you can attend that event, or just for more information if you know someone who has breast cancer, or if you would like to volunteer and donate your services. Thank you both so much for being here. And I know this was so difficult, Stephanie, so thank you so much for sharing your story. And it's great to see you. Thank Thank you. All right, well, we're going to return next on STL TV Live, and we're going to chat with Eddie Wilson and Ashla Lane from the Officer Daryl A. Hall Memorial Scholarship Foundation. We'll be right back after this break.